Welcome back to AuroraNet tutorial series. First of all, I have to connect the speakers to my computer through a hub interface. You can work with the 2 channel control 2 or the 8 channel control 8. Each Ardinet channel controls up to 32 speakers both on CAT5 cables or using appropriate adapters, XLR cables too. This means that Control 2 can communicate with up to 64 systems, 32 speakers in each channel, and connects to the computer via USB cable. Control 8 has 8 channels, instead controlling up to 256 speakers and connects with your computer via both USB cable or Ethernet. In this case, I'm gonna operate through a Control 8 hub via Ethernet. I've already configured the hub and wired the speakers to it. Please check AuroraNet user manual for further details about this operation. Now, click on Ethernet Control Discovery button on the bottom right corner. This will look for any connected Control 8 and display it in your workspace. This operation is not necessary when using USB controls, as the item will automatically appear. Note that Control 8 color code is black, meaning that communication has been established, but the connected devices are not online yet. By clicking the Go Online button, the controller will scan each Ardenet channel in order to detect the speakers, while comparing them with the project. In fact, a device matching windows appears. The first option applies the parameters set on the software to the speakers. If you haven't modified any, the speakers will be set with flat EQ, delay and presets. Second option will import the parameters physically set on each single speaker's rotary encoder into the software. In this case, I'll pick the first option from software to speakers in order to start from scratch. Notice that speakers items are green now as the system is finally online. Double click the control aid to expand the object and see all the details of the network. Here you can check the number of speakers connected to each channel, the sample frequency which defines the network efficiency and the ethernet settings too. Here, you can also assign a friendly name to the controller in case you have more than one on the same network. In the next video, we will see how to operate on each single item on the systems in use.